What was that first phone call like to daddy to tell him? I'm not daddy. I tried my best. You did a commercial for me. And maybe if I would have worn a bigger cowboy hat or, or been on a horse. I, I don't know, Dad. I tried. I tried. Dad, I tried so hard to stand up to justice in the American way. Even though I, I voted with Trump 93% of the time. I, 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 I tried, Daddy. I tried. <laughs> That's Thank what you. it sounds like. Thank you, Carlos. Yeah. We, really, we needed that. We yeah, needed we your Liz yeah. Cheney daddy issues voice, which I don't, she doesn't have that accent, but in our world, she does. But I'm gonna get him, Daddy. It's gonna give me time to get him, Daddy. I'm gonna pin him to the ground. I'm gonna pin that Trump to the for the prison bars. I'm gonna put him away. I do, Daddy. I will. Okay, I'm. You know what? Travis and I are having a nerd fest because She Hulk debuts tomorrow, which is. Oh, she's she's are gonna be our She Hulk too, isn't she? Oh yeah. Yeah, she's gonna be oh. She Hulk, but also she's I guess. Darth, he'd still be Darth Vader, right? In this analogy, Dick Cheney. Mm-hmm. He's pursuing Trump, but she's. Would this they're make her Princess Leia? I don't. They're different cinematic yeah, universes. Those are different universes. She's Princess Leia in that universe. Okay. All right. But she, she's got five more months on the J6 committee, and I, she will take him down, I believe, if he's not already in the hole for espionage. I got five more months, Daddy. I'm put to get him five months. That's 150 days. He's going down, Daddy, like Trump Tower. Okay, I saved a, a number of stories for you, Carlos, because yeah, you know, work you like a red-haired stepchild. <laughs> a man in Columbus, Ohio, was in for a surprise when he thought his dinner delivery ended up. Uh, he was getting dinner. It ended up with uh, an illegal substance, courtesy of DoorDash. When his meal arrived, he found there was a sealed bag of marijuana at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah. Delivery for Todd. Yeah, I'll have a pineapple and pot pizza. <laughs> Instead of the guy just saying thank you, he snitched the guy out, called the cops. I know, what a jerk. The guy oh. just tried to get the bag back. He's like, I'll pay for your dinner. Just give me my bag, bag back. Give me my bag back, man. Give me my bag back. Give me my bag. Give me my bag. And he didn't. He called Put the... my bag on your pie, dude. Total buzzkill. Call the cops. <laughs> Be cool. Hey, I'll just charge you 420 for the pizza. How about that? Ha ha ha. Okay. Uh, uh, Sue in Rockville, you're on with Carlos. Hello, Sue. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, I know Rudy listens to the show, so I just wanted to yeah. reassure Rudy. Um, as all of us good liberals and Democrats, we want no harm at all to come to Trump. We want him to live a very long life so that he can have maximum suffering, and we will be here to watch every second of it. Yes. Oh, it's Wonderful. Yes, Wonderful. Exactly. It's going to be great, Daddy. Guys, that doesn't, yes. There's no justice. So, no, Rudy, you're wrong. Don't worry. We're all praying for good health yes. to Trump and to you and all of you traitors. Yep. Yep. Exactly. All right. Thank you, Sue. That's very, they're very sweet thoughts. What? Okay. Uh, yes. Oh, by the way, uh, Carlos, you've done, uh, not morning radio. I guess you did evening radio with us. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But we did, uh, so we were just, just it's uh, Lindsey Graham and Josh Hawley are the Bitchy and Fisty show. That would be mm-hmm. the morning show. Right. Right. And then Gummy and Cokie are Eric and Don Jr. That would be the uh, afternoon, afternoon drive. Afternoon drive. Yeah, because he's right. get up because he's up right. coking all night. So exactly. He's, right. Okay. So uh, here's Lindsey, Miss Lindsey. Yeah. Well, the Intel Committee, in a bipartisan fashion, the Senate Intelligence Committee is asked to look at the affidavit. I hope that will be granted because there's supposedly classified information involved. But I want to echo what most Republicans have been saying. After Crossfire Hurricane and after the Mueller investigation, Mm. where the FISA court rebuked the Department of Justice Mm. for giving them bad information, false information, misleading information regarding Carter Page, when it comes to Trump, there are no rules. Every Republican should be suspended. Suspicious mm. of what's happened in the past happening again. Okay. Um, so they're trying to <laughs> find out who the witnesses are, sources, methods, everything. So that, right, <coughs> this is what Lindsay wants to see. Yes. yes. Right. right. They're not going to do that. Nobody, no judge is going to okay that in the middle of an investigation. Yeah. Uh, it, it's okay. Um, blah, blah, blah. Hang on. Uh, yes, give me one more, Lindsay. We need the affidavit. Show your cards. Uh, Merrick Garland oh! can't have it oh. both ways. He oh, can't give us the inventory, the warrant, without telling us why it was necessary mm-hmm. to raid the former president's home and there was uh, no less intrusive method available. The affidavit should help us a lot understand what happened here. 
Oh my God, Carlos, we were going over the story about how long Merrick Garland waited and yeah. deliberated to do this and tried That's every true. other means, like way beyond what would happen for any of us, right? I mean, asked, begged, went down there, subpoenaed, right? And yep. now the fact that they're not going to, he's asking for sources and methods and witnesses mm-hmm. to be revealed so that this will, you know, this investigation, mm-hmm. obviously. I want to know how the, the police department, uh, what methods they used to find John Wayne's John Wayne Gacy's bodies under the house. I don't think it was fair to John Wayne Gacy no. to find those bodies under the house. I mean, right. what what gave them the right to search his house? I'm really concerned about that. And Bundy, what gave him the right to go after all the women he killed? That's just not fair to those criminals. Sure, right. Here's some, uh, Lindsay again. Bitchy, a bitchy and fisty. <laughs> yes. There he is. And the American people are going through too much pain, too much heartache on this endless effort to destroy Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. It's time for the Department of Justice, mm-hmm. they have no more benefit of the doubt, in my view, mm-hmm. to turn over the affidavit so all of us can look at it. At a minimum, give it to the Intel Committee and Judiciary Committee so you can have uh, senators from both sides look at it. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. I'm sure no harm would come to any witnesses that were revealed to the bloodthirsty MAGA crowd, right? Uh-huh. I just listen. I want my tea time, and I like to play from the Reds. And I just don't. I just enjoy my outings and golf. I love so watching. Is this Lindsay? Is this just like one octave below Liz Cheney? But it's basically the same impression. I'm just trying to. I'm trying. I'm trying to find your sources and methods. Hey, daddy, I need daddy, daddy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it oh, is. You know he's called it's, someone daddy. It's the same impression. Yeah, yeah. You know Not he's called someone daddy. daddy. Lots of people. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Okay. And M- God, McCain's ghost is just like, no, no. <laughs> He's called McCain daddy. No. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I did. Yeah. <laughs> um. Now here is, uh, speaking of the warrant, uh, democracy warrior, Steve Ducey. What? Yeah. Oh, my the actual God. actual is happening. Uh, no, he's, Tim Scott. Ducey's actually been in the right lately. Someone's trying to get on the right side of history and the law. Uh-huh. Along with Laura Ingram. Ah, ah, the American people are ready to move on. All right. She sounds Mary like Garland refuses to cooperate in releasing all the information necessary to understand what happened. Well, the senator knows that in a, in a criminal investigation like this, uh, they don't release it until they've figured out whether or not somebody's going to be charged or not. And if they're not charged, they don't release it so that they do not unfairly tarnish the, uh, the reputation of an innocent person. Steve Ducey, democracy warrior. <laughs> He's a democracy warrior, I'm telling you. Wow. Dave in Minneapolis, you're on with Carlos. Hello, Dave. Good morning, Mama. Um, I, if, if there's anyone out there who thinks that this group that is presently charging around claiming they're Christians believes that that's what they are. You know, it's really disturbing for me as the official Lutheran pastor of the Stephanie Miller show um, to, you know, to hear that. I mean, they are professing everything that is the antithesis of what Jesus stood for. They vote against anything that's going to help people, help the poor, help uh, people get ahead in life, uh, help the sick help the imprisoned, whatever. Yep. But they do everything in their power to give tax cuts to the rich. Now, you know, if I read my Bible right, and of course I do, um, <laughs> that, that isn't what Jesus was all about. And, I, you know, they wonder why people don't go to church anymore. Why would they, if this is what people get the impression is what it means to be a Christian? Right. Um, they're, they're fascists. Uh, I would call them crystal fascists, but there's nothing crystal about them. That's different. It's and crystal it, Methodist, as Ted Hag- Haggard yes. you're thinking of. That's, he's a crystal uh, fascist. A crystal oh, Methodist. You know, Steph, Steph you yes. know everything. Why do I even try? Right. You know, really? I agree. I agree. Thank you for that. Thank you, Dave. Uh-huh. Yeah. She doesn't know everything. I do know everything. You didn't know what pegging was. Thank you. You asked me, must I like every tweet that says I'm right and you're wrong? And I'm like, yes. Obviously, computer says yes. Carlos, <laughs> speaking of morning radio, would you like some Carlos or some uh, Chris Lavoy uh, radio fun facts oh, that God. I did not even know? I would like them. Please. Are you doing morning radio in Tempe, everybody? What uh, in in Phoenix? Oh, that was yeah. market mar- market number twelve. It was okay, kind sure. of substantial. Yeah, right. And uh, my very first uh, job on the air in radio was secret agent love toy. That was my name. Because you because did. I would go around the city and hide concert tickets that people had to find. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. I was Sister Sleaze. I did a show naked in a barrel in a department store window in Rochester. Everybody with Brother Weeze and Sister Sleaze in the morning. Rochester. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've got to go. Would you get out of that bathroom stall, please? I'm hiding tickets. <laughs> 
I would go to places like Big Surf and stuff like that. I sure. would go to the bathroom. What sort of tickets to see who? Uh, George Strait. George Strait. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Is he in I got a bag of pot and some tickets on my pizza? Awesome. <laughs> That's another story. Okay. Kevin, you got that story in the other story. All right. Kevin in uh, Chicago. Hello, Kevin. Hang on. I'm writing this down. Secret agents love toy. toy yes. Well, hello. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> so, Mama, I must confess, I'm calling once again with absolutely zero substance to add to the show, but um, I have to join in with Travis and Chris that gay guys don't really participate in pegging because like Arby's, we have the meats. Yes, we have the meats. Thank you for that, Kevin. I, I think, uh -huh. that, listen, you can't top yourself, so to speak, oh, now. Oh, come on.